Welcome to our first Halloween do-it-yourself project. We are actually looking at creating some pumpkin snails and some crazy looking larger pumpkins. I'm about to go recruit some helpers so that we can actually uh, go through these steps to these uh, great Halloween fall projects. All right, I have my assistant here. Her name is Bria and she's designed two beautiful pumpkins here. Maybe Bria, you could tell us what your design is and what they're going to look like. They're just Faces. Oh, it's very nice. Are we going to carve them up now? Yeah. yeah. Soon. There are faces everywhere. And where are you going to actually locate the pumpkins? Are they going to be out front of the house? Yeah. Yes? All right. Okay, then. So let's get into the project. All right, we have our full pumpkin carving contingency here, and I'm going to go look for some assistance to help us uh, go through these uh, Halloween project ideas. So the project supplies we'll need for this a snail and butternut squash pumpkin carving project are one butternut squash. And as you can see, it obviously uh, looks a little bit uh, promiscuous there, but it will actually become our snail's head. We need a round pumpkin that roughly would be the size uh, and equivalent to the butternut squash so that it looks like the body. You need two eyes. Uh, we have used uh, two red uh, ping pong balls. You can also get monster eyes that you can see in the video here. And you'll need two wooden skewers to actually put the eyes into your snail. Alright, on that we're going to start putting the pieces together. Now we've run into a minor problem with this project. The top of this snail's body's pumpkin has gone a little bit soft. I think we can salvage it by actually making it the back and we're actually going to carve the swirl of the snail's body into the underside of the pumpkin. Let's see if that actually works. If not, we've got some larger pumpkins that we can do a take two on. All right, so we've carved our top pumpkin top out and are about to take it out. You can actually see the innards of the pumpkin. Now our job is to <laughs> scoop it out. I just touched it. Oh my. All right, let's uh, take, let's regroup, get a spoon, and we'll do some pumpkin I want this hollowing out. As my assistant Bria scoops out Ew. the insides of her two little, adorable, cute pumpkins. And look at my big one. And then we're going to do the big one, yes. <laughs> and one's coming out of the top and one's coming out of the side. What do you think? Cool. Very cool. Pass yeah. it, passes the test? Yes. One trick, uh, lesson learned, I guess we've had from cutting out our spiral is to cut out, once you've got the main cut in there, is cut out little chunks and do a divide. Otherwise, I've found that you collapse the whole top of the pumpkin. So that's a lesson learned from an earlier attempt. We've now curved out our pumpkin spiral, and now it's time to shift gears towards the butternut squash and adding the head to the body. So now it's time to chop up the butternut squash that everyone's been making fun of me for having on my uh, kitchen table all week. Uh, but here we go. The trick to the butternut squash is to cut uh, the head off at an angle ahead of the snail, obviously, uh, so that it actually uh, lays level and the head looks like it's pulling off to the side. So we're going to try that now and uh, show you what the finished product looks like. We've now successfully uh, carved off the snail's head from the butternut squash and have it uh, sitting next to the body. The next step is to actually uh, get out the uh, wooden uh, skewer sticks and the eyes. Uh, you can either use ping pong balls or, uh, or other small things uh, from any dollar store. You can find some great items there for the eyes. So we're going to rig that up now and finish the project. Daddy, All right, I'm um, with my helper Bria again, and we're about to actually put the snail's Daddy, eyes into the head of the snail. Daddy, you have a problem. Yeah? Look. Oh, yeah, it looks good. So, so they're not the same size. Oh, yeah, I think it's okay, though. I think they'll look okay once we put them in there. So what we're going to do is make two small holes into the snail's heads, and then Bria's going to pop them in. We'll show you uh, the end product momentarily. For Bria and I, we've just completed our snail project. Yeah, I want to and... show them the eyeballs. <laughs> okay, let's show them the eyeballs. I'll bring it over here. You, you get close and you show them how it works. All right, get in the picture and, and... Ah. all right, and then duck down so we can actually see the snail. There you go. Okay, stand over to the side. Okay, stand up. All right, so there's our completed projects, folks. My Bria, helper Bria and our snail.
So we're now going to put it out in front of our house. Thank you for your time and if you've got any questions please leave them in the comments section below and we'll uh, try to help you out with this project if you're having troubles or uh, also send us pictures of your completed project if you've done so. All right, say goodbye to everyone, Bria. Bye bye. See our lesson learned right on the front of the snail there. So once again, make sure you cut the angle of your head the correct direction. What do you think of the snail, Bria? Is it a good project? Yeah. Yeah, was it easy to do? Yeah. Two thumbs up or one thumb up? Uh, I don't know. It looks good. All right. So, all right, that's our project number one, a Halloween pumpkin carved snail and butternut squash. Now we're going to do a new, and we're going to do, and we're going to. I can only dream of having a Halloween project this cool. <laughs>